Well, it's an exciting time because the Winter Olympics are about to start in just a few days. And Emily and Bree are here with Rev Fitness. And the exercises that we're going to do this morning are kind of inspired by some of the sports you might see on the TV soon. Absolutely. So Olympics are here, you guys, and that's amazing for all of us. I know I sit at home on the couch and I watch as much as I can, which I'm not a big TV watcher, so that's a big thing for me. Yeah. But I get so inspired by these athletes and their commitment to work, their commitment. You know that when they're at their peak level like this, they've put in a lot of hours and a lot of hard work. So to me, it makes me think, what can I do a little bit more for myself towards my journey? I still want to be in the Olympics, to tell you the truth. I haven't quite figured it out yet, but someday. There's that was still my time. dream as a kid. And so, not senior yeah. Olympics, so don't get any thoughts. <laughs> I want the real deal, but we'll figure that out. But today's exercises we're going to show you. I want you to remember that this time of year also, we've got Valentine's around the corner, so we've got chocolates and we've got big meals and maybe a few cocktails and things like that. We've got to remember, let's make our choices right, make good choices each and every day, right? Right. So I'm going to show you a few exercises on our ab dolly here. We're going to do a rollout first. So we're going to extend all the way out, extend those arms, and then pull in. Pull that belly button straight up first, and then engage your arms and pull back each one. This is a tough move. It takes a lot of work through the core to stay with it. So you really think about some of these athletes out there, the amount of work that they do on their core is pretty amazing to get their body in the positions they do. So if you guys want to start doing a circle, maybe let's go to the right on those circle abs. There we go. This one is pretty tough too. I like to think of those, the guys that are skiing and doing the jumps on their skis and they flip in the air and they do all things. They have control of their body. Right it's almost here. like a bobsled in some this ways. This is, too. I mean, this is a lot of control, a lot of core control. Again, the more muscles we work through our body, the more our body will get revved up, which is our ultimate goal is to get revved up, burn a lot of calories for us, and be efficient with time. Next, we're going to take a little second here and flip over on the back side. We're going to work our legs a little bit. We're going to put our heels on the ab dolly, lift our hips and stay in a good bridge form and then pull in and out like a hamstring curl. Very good. I also like to say, you know, you guys, people will tell me all the time, how do you keep coming up with new exercises? How is it always different? At Rev Fitness, we do like to do different all the time, so my body never gets used to doing the same thing over and over again. I want to change it up, call on new muscles to work, make changes in my body, and see those results accelerated constantly. So good job on this one. You guys are all done on those. <laughs> Those are tough. They look kind of easy, but guys, that's tough work right there. A lot of core work, a lot of stabilization. What they do you think? They are pretty tough. Yeah, but again, I can see kind of the similarities between some of the Winter Olympic sports. Again, like the bobsled, the skiing, you're yep. moving side to side. Yeah, pretty for nice. Sure. And even though something might specifically be for your core, it's definitely working that full body. Yeah, you can Absolutely. feel it for sure. You're getting everything. Yeah. <laughs> Which we like everything. We do. I want to work do. it all from head to toe because I want to become my best self. Be just like the athletes, too. That's right. Let's all, right. all go watch the Olympics. Sounds like a, a few point. more days? Yes. Awesome. All right. Thanks again, Emily and Bree. And next week, we'll see you back here for Commit to Be Fit.